A group of researchers say they've identified at least seven stars that might be surrounded by super advanced alien megastructures known as Dyson spheres. What if someday we could build a superstructure so big we could basically surround our sun and capture its energy directly? There's something called a Kardashev civilization, named for Nikolai Kardashev, who's an astrophysicist. If you look at the history of what we call great civilizations, one of the things that distinguishes them is their capacity to generate and consume energy. So why would the smartest life in the galaxy choose to surround a star when thermodynamics guarantees every captured watt must be thrown back as heat? When you intercept starlight, you don't get to keep it. You convert it into work, running habitats, factories, computation, and then you must pay the bill and waste heat. That's not a quirk of engineering. It's the second law of thermodynamics. So the more energy you harness, the more you must radiate away. If you wrapped a star in orbiting collectors and used that power at roughly room temperature, you'd re-emit most of it as mid-infrared light. In other words, cosmic paparazzi need only infrared cameras to catch you. We talk about power as a hallmark of advancement, but physics insists that every triumph has a glow. If waste heat is the unavoidable receipt you hand